myself. There we go. Okay. Hi there. This is Dr. Jeff Snyder. I'm not at Snyder Family Chiropractic right now, but that is my practice. Snyder Family Chiropractic. We're located at 1003A, Egypt Road, Phoenixville. And uh, the reason why I'm coming to you from my home right now is because, well, I think you know why I'm just coming from my home right now, as you are all in your homes, I'm sure, at this point as well. And the program that we're going to be doing tonight is one that is going to help you to learn a little bit more about um, how to do certain spinal stretches that will help you in the long run to uh, gain flexibility, reduce stress. Because right now, that's what we need, is the ability to reduce stress. We have um, a lot of stress on our hands right now, uh, a lot of changes in our uh, lifestyle. And right now, I think that the ability for us to reduce stress in various ways is going to be very beneficial. The various things that we should be working on right now to manage the circumstances that we're in fall into five different pillars. The first pillar is nutrition, proper eating, not eating lots of food, the sugar, processed food. You want to help to fortify your body and helping your immune system to stay strong. Another thing you can do is to also get some rest. And that means adequate sleep. If you're not getting adequate, adequate sleep, your body does not have the ability to heal properly, and it does suppress the immune system as well. The third thing is to keep your mind in a decent frame of mind. A positive mental attitude, reducing emotional stress. These are another, this is another piece of the puzzle because uh, emotional stress can play uh, wreak havoc that is on, uh, on your body, on your mind. And... Uh, the other uh, piece of the puzzle is getting adequate exercise. In this particular case, we're really looking at cardiovascular exercise because that's going to help to um, boost the immune system also in a way that we need to for the circumstance that we're in right now as well. So that being said, the next and last thing uh, that we need to work on is making sure that we have a system that functions properly, that allows for all the various pieces to be coordinated properly, uh, making sure that you eat and digest the food properly, making sure that when you exercise that everything's going efficiently, when, when you're trying to sleep, that the chemicals that are designed for sleeping are uh, produced properly, and so forth and so on. And that is your central nervous system. As a doctor of chiropractic, that's my goal in what I do to make sure that your nervous system is functioning at 100%. So that's a story for another time. Uh, right now, there are certain things in place that prohibit me from you know, being able to practice in that same exact uh, mindset, as I just mentioned. However, people that are having issues that relate to uh, pain, that are, uh, that are not able to wait, uh, that is, this is a time where you are able to come into our office. We are essential healthcare, and I will be there. That is part of what I do, and that is why I'm uh, why I'm going to continue doing what I do is to make sure that people have the ability to uh, function and to feel proper, to feel good about their health. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to move into doing the exercise program. Uh, the exercise program uh, is entitled Spinal Stretching Workshop. And it's a program that uh, you will see um, just at a moment here we're going to get started. And I'm also going to let you know that with this program, we're also going to be um, providing this for you at the end. So if you're not following along entirely, then uh, don't worry, because we're going to give you an opportunity at the end to uh, also get a copy of the whole program. Uh, so just pay attention, and we're going to get started. I'm going to step back here. Let's see if we can get this going. Okay. Um, let's see. New share. I'm sharing my screen. I think I'm sharing my screen. Share. Okay. Is that working? I'm thinking it's working. Okay. All right. So let's see. Is this working now? Technology sometimes. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking at. All right. So let's just kind of bring my screen up high here. All right, so the first thing uh, I wanted to, um, well, the noise outside, 
So the first thing I wanted to uh, do is just to uh, talk for a moment about the uh, the workshop itself, and uh, some of the disclaimers I'm going to provide for you are to uh, seek um, your own healthcare experts to prevent injury while doing these exercises and stretches. Use common sense. Don't push through the pain. If the pain is there, stop. These exercises are not uh, a personal prescription for you. They are a general overall wellness program for the general population. And by performing these exercises, there's, I'm not making any claims that it's going to cure or fix any uh, pre-existing injury, nor will it um, keep an injury from preventing, prevent an injury from happening if these exercises are performed. Remember, every person is different. So with the exercises, um, I want you to give, I want you to actually engage in doing these exercises. So when we're finished the program, like I said, you're going to have access to it. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get it by email. Uh, and what I recommend for you is that you should print uh, and place it in a convenient place to set a daily reminder for you, such as on your phone. Set a daily reminder. You have meetings. You have to set for uh, your daily meetings or your daily appointments. The things that are important will make exercise or stretching an important part of your day. Be patient. If you feel like you can't do them easily, it takes some time, so you'll get the hang of it. And if certain movements do cause discomfort, you may have spinal dysfunction, which may require the attention of a doctor of chiropractic or another healthcare practitioner for that matter. But if you want guidance on that, contact us at 610-935-5900. So the first exercise that we're gonna do here is a, um, is a uh, cervical extension exercise. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna light a little bit. This light is really blinding me. So I'm gonna give just a moment here. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna do a, uh, an isolated uh, um, cervical extension. And essentially what that looks like is you take your hands, place it on the spot on your neck, and you're just gonna put some pressure right on there. And as you push back, you're gonna feel the stretch going over that point. If you move the hands a little higher, and do the same thing, you'll feel the stretch going over that point. And that's essentially the way you do it. The instructions to how to do it, how often, how many, is all on this handout. In this case here, you're gonna do 10 repetitions, or uh, 10, 10 uh, seconds it is, and um, you're gonna do three sets of that. This is a turtle neck exercise, and what we call it our head, head uh, retraction exercise, and it essentially looks like this. So, pulling it in, straight back, and forward straight back and forward. And it helps to get the joints in the neck to move properly. Um, again, just follow along with me right now. Don't worry about how many sets, how many reps. It's gonna say it on the, uh, on the sheet. You can do it kind of as often as you want to, but um, there are some guidelines on there to help you along. This is a uh, isometric uh, exercise here where you're pushing downward like that, putting some pressure in on the, uh, on the neck. Um, put the pressure in to kind of work the muscles in the front section. And then this one here is for the side. So pushing in like that, and you'll feel the pressure being placed upon the muscles on the side of the head. The other one is a rotation. So you're gonna put your hand on the cheekbone, not on your jaw, put the hand on the cheekbone, and you're gonna rotate with it. Now remember, if you're doing these bilaterally, so you can do it on the other side as well. Uh, same thing for lateral flexion and so forth. And then the extension, you put your hands on the back of the head as opposed to the back of the neck, back of the head, and straight back here, extending backwards there, and back again, back down. Now, this one here is a levator scapula stretch. It's a muscle that actually connects to your scapula or your shoulder blade. Um, essentially, you'll be sitting down, but I'm gonna go with standing up here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands down like this, you're gonna grab a hold, and you're gonna stretch like that. And obviously, do the opposite side as well. Now, this here is a side bend um, and hold type stretch. You don't have to put your hand anywhere in particular. Just kind of hold it like this and go straight to the side. It's a little less, um, you'll feel the difference between the two. One actually is a little bit more on the back side, and this one here is a little more on the side of the neck. Now, this here is, a, these are called wall angles. So, uh, or wall angles. Actually, wall angels, I should say, not wall angels. Uh, wall angels, putting your knee to come against the wall, and you're going to bring your arms straight up like this, okay? And back down like this. The idea is to try to keep your elbows 
as close to the wall as you possibly can as you go up. I have no challenge with that, but you'll get a picture when you try doing that. This is for the mid-back. So we just did some exercises for the neck area. Now we're going to go to the mid-back area here. And this essentially is a standing torso twist, and it looks like this. So you're simply stretching in between the shoulder blades as you go like this. Okay. The next one here is a um, bilateral shoulder uh, flexion. And so if you were to grab a hold of some table on the side or a chair as I have here, and you were sitting down, reaching out like this, reaching out. Okay. These all, you'll see the explanations on the handout the body parts and where you should be feeling it and the motions and so forth. It's all listed here, the explanation how to do it. So don't get overwhelmed. We're just moving along here. I'm just showing you the program. Because in a moment here, when we're all done, you get the sense of what it is, then you're going to get the opportunity to get it. Uh, this is all, by the way, uh, I'm giving this to you. There's no cost for it at all. This is simply my way of trying to help everybody, as there are many in the community that are attempting to help. Um, to give free things, by the way, you know you can actually see museums right now for free around the world. There's lots of great things that are occurring right now, a lot of free things. So we're just trying to help out as well. Standard Family Chiropractic um, is a place where people come to uh, restore their health, and um, we're just trying to be part of that community in, uh, at this point in time in what's going on in the world. Uh, this here is an overhead reach and side bend. So I'm going to sit on my chair to do this one. So here we are, overhead reach, and side bend, like that. And to the other side, same idea. So this here, I don't actually have the ball in front of me. So you're going to pick a ball, and you're going to go up against the wall, take the ball, and lay it in, right in the upper back area, between the shoulder blade and the spine area. Lay it up against the wall, roll into it, lean into it. And you're just going to lean into it, just kind of roll back and forth like that. That's the whole idea. Okay, so that will help you to alleviate some of the uh, musculature in the, in the upper back area, uh, help release some of that tension that's there. By the way, sometimes tension that you have in your spine is not as a result of muscles alone. It is often as a result of the spine itself being in the wrong place. Posture over time can change the structure of the spine. And uh, just doing the, the stretches will help, but it's not going to help entirely. That's where chiropractic comes in, corrective care to bring the spine back into its neutral, normal anatomical place. So that way you can reduce the tension on the stress on the, on the muscles. Uh, muscles pull because the spine is often in the wrong place. So um, I always recommend that people who get their spine checked, if you have not had your spine checked uh, professionally, I'm here to help you or to help you find somebody close to you. Next exercise here is called bird dog. Now, I'm actually not gonna get on the floor to show you this one, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like, essentially. You're gonna get on all fours, and then you're gonna go opposite hand, opposite leg, okay? So it looks like this. Opposite hand, opposite leg, coming back down. Opposite hand, opposite leg, okay? This hand is stabilizing, okay? So, that's what we're doing there in that all four position down on, on, the, on all fours, okay? Now, this one here is great for the lower back as well. The other one was a little bit more of a muscular exercise. This one here is a little more of a stretch. So you're gonna place your hands back here, right on your sacrum, which is kind of like right below your hips, so a little bit lower. And you're just gonna put some pressure in like that. Okay, just like that. Side bend, just like that. Side bend, okay. Bending straight down. Straight down. Reaching for the floor, keep your, keep your back straight. Don't hunch your back. Keep your back straight as you come straight down. And back up again. This is called cat and camel. Cat and camel on all fours. What you're gonna do is like this, okay? Like that. So on all fours, you're, you're basically arching your back here. You're so arching your back here and coming down like that. Okay, what that does is it gets motion to your spine throughout and helps to 
stretch and mobilize your spine as a whole. The last one here is uh, a rotational seated twist. And seated twist, you're just gonna grab a hold of the chair. You're not gonna force it. You're just gonna do a little bit of stretch, kind of pulling as you do so. And then the other side, the same thing. So here are some great exercises, great stretches you can do for the spine. It will help to alleviate some stress and tension on your spine. And um, I hope that this really helps you out during this time of need right now where we're all stressed. Uh, I think that this is going to be uh, a program that, um, that you're going to really benefit from. Now, how are you going to get these? The way you're going to get all these, pro all these now is this. Before I move forward here, take your cell phone out. And with your cell phone out, I want you to go to your camera. Okay. And once you're on your camera, what I want you to do is to aim that camera right at that little square called a QR code on the right side. If you don't know how to do that, take a picture of that screen and type in on your browser bit.ly forward slash sfc dash spinal stretches and that will take you right to the right to the, uh, the page that you see right there where you're going to enter your information into your name you're going to enter in your email address and if you are interested in having me do a consultation with you uh, place your phone number in there as well when i get that information in my hand we're going to then reach out to you and we'll invite you in or we'll invite you on, I should say, at this point of the consultation uh, through a web system. So that way you don't have to step foot in the office at this point. Um, in the future, if you're watching this and things are all back to normal, we can have you come into the office. But this way, at least we can help you to determine if uh, there's a need for you to um, get some chiropractic care. And it could be with myself or somewhere else. So again, Aim the camera at that square, or just type in bitly, bit.ly forward slash SFC spinal stretches. So let me slide back in here again with my chair, and I'm going to now exit from sharing this screen. I'm going to come back to where we were a moment ago. There we go. And I want to thank you for spending a little bit of time with me here, about 20 minutes, uh, and letting me provide the, uh, provide you a uh, program that uh, you can use from now till whatever, but enjoy. And um, during this time, uh, try to help other people as well. Think about who you can help and what you can do to kind of pay it forward a little bit. Uh, we are all in a stressed point in our life. And I think that um, right now is a good time to, uh, to think about what you can do for others. Uh, and also don't forget to support your small businesses. Really important as well right now. Uh, as uh, this is a, a very delicate time for a lot of us. Uh, so once again, just want to thank you for taking the time to uh, spend time with me here. And